Here is the tale of the tape of the Back to Warcraft weekly, monthly, March finals. The two top seeds prevail. It is happy in a seven minute semi-final versus Sick. And Hawk comes through a lot harder two and one versus Sonic. Uh, Sheik previously eliminated Leon. That was very impressive. Sonic eliminated Lucy. Best of five, no vetoes. All five maps can potentially be played. We kick things off on Hammerfall where it became Fairly normal actually for happy to lose and so he switched it up from Lich to Dreadlord apparently Interesting choice still an expansion, but different first hero And then he'll try to sleep and swarm and surround and kill. When he still played Lich here, Archmage level 3 and pushes cancelled his expansions over and over and over and over and over again. Hawk has a footy here already for a little bit of preparation. Might distract, might prepare. His expansion goes through unpunished, not a single hit, not a single swarm. A little bit, I was about to say, a little bit of an invite for a carry and swarm with the water elementals being so low. And here's the dreadlord now. A town is but only level 2.5. This is not that much. Archmage level 3 already being slapped immediately. Got a staff though. So he will be able to staff out. He was so prepared for that. Wait, second sleep already? So fast? Okay. Did not expect. Dreadlord sold the town portal though, so he's far away and it is still an insta-cancel. And that's worth it. Little bit problematic is that there's still a skeleton, a little bit annoying, so expansion didn't start yet. And losing the town portal also dangerous against sleep. But, there's only one more. A player's are Happy has no lumber currently for the haunted. The echo, he does. Can he actually save the footman? Nope, not against this carrion swarm, was about to say. This is of course a downside of a dreadlord. He's rather slow. Also no range attacks, the chasing is harder. And Hawk feeds him level three, what the hell? At the moment this looks like an overcommitment. For no real gains yet. And Happy School Micro is obviously superior, but it's not what it's all about. Expo is what it's all about on both sides. Happy only slowly getting the lumber back, has it now. Archmage not heard, but very low mana. A lot about this arcane tower. Expo can't be cancelled anymore. Happy sees the second time he moves north and can't get much done, but reinforcements have arrived. I played too much Command and Conquer, by the way. Uh, reinforcements have arrived. Still, can't do much because militia are here too. Very solid block. Very solid block. And Hawk has great vision everywhere. Bought a lot of time. Arcane Tower up. So Dreadlord can't really get close anymore. And tech at 6 minutes 30. This is not bad. Happy with an early attack into Expo. Hawk is in a good spot. If he's not messing it up. Ooh, carry and swarm gnarly. Only a limited amount left. But with the boots, 
Better chance to run this down. Deny. Ah, Hawk a little sloppy here. Those footmen can all be denied. But you also gotta be careful that you are not running into sleeps around. And the shop only now. Happy can feel somewhat confident, I guess. DK must be second. And Hawk is trying to catch up in tech. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's the last sleep. It's not really dangerous. Or shouldn't be, at least. Uh, surround on the Dreadlord? Close! With another block, he might have a chance. Uh, he's face tanking. Gets level 4 now. Archmage range attacks? Not really an option, right? Also has an invul, so that was fine. Are under Good retreat from Happy. Let the dagger heal. Happy is supply blocked at 40 for quite some time, even though he has the resources. That's... I mean, he's gonna be unstuck for a while. Uh, in a bit, I mean. Due to the necro. He's falling. Hawk is playing a fine... Hui! Last hit against Happy Hawk! That was sweet! Tier 3 on the way, on both sides. So now the tier 3 decision making. There's little... room for air. So we start with double workshop, very low on lumber at the moment. Yo, that's what he is. Double Rex now as well. Oh, Lumber might seriously bite him. No heal scroll. Surround. More kills. Trying to counter surround. A block away through. Happy still got it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. This looked like it was open. Sleep again. But he has a town portal back. He might even be able to get out. Oh, happy anticipated this. Well done. And that's 325 gold gone. Mountain King needs levels. Paladin needs to get out ASAP. And happy plays gargoyles. <laughs> Archmage immediately venturing out with the town portal again. That's expensive. Two ghouls, though. Wait, call Nova? Not call Wow, I say call Nova already. I mean swarm! <laughs> Trying to run it off. There's another sleep. Oh no, Hawk! Press it! Hit that TP button hard. Is that worth it? Not too sure. Was ghouls. A couple of ghouls went down. I don't know if I like the gyros. I really don't. I don't think I do. It's gotta be dragon hogs. It's gotta be dragon hogs. Oh boy. No TP. Okay, for now it does work, but can he keep the number of gyros low? And can he drain mana from the Dreadlord so they are not hit by too many carrion swarms? That's the key. Now we got a holy aura and it's a whole different game. Player's 
forces are under attack. It is out, triple crypt. Oh, this is uh What's the longevity for gyros, man? Stumbled, but there's a TP, also an inborn. Trying to force some engagement. The damage is clearly there. But I worry, I really worry about the situation in like two minutes. How about tanks and barrage? It is an ongoing discussion. I think in one-on-one, -on -one, the fights don't last long enough. To make barrage worth it i was the biggest tanks and barrage fan i feel like it doesn't work in ffa four and four etc clearly does oh these carry yeah you gotta dodge the swarms man there's more It is tanks and barrage. Okay. It's a lot about positioning in these fights. Is that Hawk's normal strat against Garks? Ooh, there's no guard tower. Ooh. That was a sick swarm, and there was also the last swarm. Can he somehow? Kill these Garks. That would be so important to win the fight now. Yep, 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 this worked. Yep, this worked. Ay, 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 that was close. Happy ran into this arcane tower like there's no tomorrow, suffered great losses. Um, he just invited Hawk to win Everfall. You have to switch out of Garks now. Uh, out of out of Gyros now. You have to. There's no room for Gyros anymore, except scouting and harassing. And he needs levels. Double level three on MK and Pally. And that's one. That's level three, isn't it? Oh, one spot for two level ups? Oh my god! That's pretty good. That's pretty good, but I think Happy can basically say the same. And that's 5-3 close to 3. We got tanks, we got gyros, we got barrage. It's not too many though. Gyros need to focus correctly. Close fight in the air. No more heal scrolls. Book of the Dead. Carrion Swarm wipes him out immediately. That's a level 3 one. Mountain King in trouble. But he got the Holy Light. Garg's now able to annoy. And that's it. Tanks. Finding damage. Statue's about to drop. Oh boy. And of course, no time for destroyers. So Water Elemental are incredibly strong. So, how good can Happy defend now? Knights are almost untouchable on the ground. Lich. Potion. And a coil, back to full health. Ghouls, weapons of mass destruction. Would love to have griffins now, of course, apparently, but... Oh, I think that's a hold, guys. You gotta get out, exactly. Will all the knights come with them? Huge value on every single one! Huh. 
But Happy is forced into a tech switch, is he not? Clap level 2 needed. Yo, that would be great. That would be great. Leon knows a thing about playing human. Yo, Tom of retraining and that's it. Happy smartly identifying that there's no clap. And back to ghouls we are. A player's forces are under attack. DK surround, there's no TP. Can pass an invo. Okay. Dreadlord had one. Can be safe. Also, DK. 12 armor points. That is an ambitious target. Cool gang. Trying to get a. Oh, wait. What? 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 He passed the health stone but had no time. Oh, sick. Still crazy AOE and we're getting close to Infernal. And tanks, man. I love them in long fights with huge Garg armies. They barely do anything. A player's forces are under attack. DK back. Ghouls are scary. Happy sends ghouls to the main. They can welcome the hurt knights. It feels like Happy does the way smarter tech switches. From gargs into ghouls into destros. There's a huge lead on Happy. But he always comes back. You know it. Mount- Ah! Paladin! Has the fright bubble, all good. Mountain King has to throw the hammers again. Oh, just a little bit more time. DK, in trouble again. Pally staffed out. New tanks arrive. And level 4 DK now. Yep, trouble city. No TP. Oh, Hawk. Trying to bait... The Destro's out, I guess. And Infernal is ready. That should be the knockout punch. A good game by Hawk. But good is not enough. Knights tanks, man. Knights tanks. I don't, I don't feel this army composition. There was a lot of ghouls falling, by the way. I, I, uh, no clap. I mean, clap, do you need it now? Probably not, but... That's not enough anti-air. The sky is open for Destros. That should never be allowed. Oh, drop it! Infernal is ready. It's burning. It's doing crazy damage. It looks fantastic. Where's where's the Hail Mary? All of the heroes have a consumable that can save them. No third base. Damn, shouldn't there be a sky of gyros again? At some point you're running out of mana, like right now. And then you fly them in. DK, not blocked enough. This time the hellstone was there.
I'm not convinced that Barrett is any good. I feel like tanks play a great role in soaking up damage if you bring them in. Because if they're untouched for a long time, then they, they, they do a lot of damage over time when there's a lot of air. It scales exponentially. But with only three targets, no problem. Happy is getting closer and closer. There's nothing to attack anything. These tanks, they should not be here. I feel like... Hawk oh, clearly fell apart. At some point during this match, he had no idea what to do anymore. Goldmine down. And then, of course, Happy is ready. Like, of course he is. No, 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 no. That's not the way to use tanks. That's not the way to win against Happy. There was a gigantic chance for Hawk to win this. Like, nobody, nobody is not playing Griffin Aviary against Dreadlord, GG. And that's for a reason. Anything Griffin Aviary would have looked so much better. He actually got an invite to kill so many Garks in his own base, but then running across the map, as Leon said, to push this expansion by Happy without clap or without having anything against ghouls, Happy just smarter. And then when the gyros were gone, thanks to the level 3 carrion swarm, then obviously the sky is open for destroyers, which counters your knights and the tanks. Yeah, not. There was just no efficiency with these tanks. <laughs> I'm not so sure about Griffins against Carrion Colnova. Then why is everybody playing it? The Emperor reigns supreme. Happy showed her good ears at reading the game and changing strategies in an instant. Yes. Exactly that. Well, well, well. Happy is one step closer. But this is Hawk's first loser's choice. Bottom left hand side, he starts on Twisted. Leon says, normally you grab the under, uh, the army of the undead early, so you, he doesn't have the biggest numbers. Just like three to four hawks and then Happy needs to switch, so you can go for griffins and knights. And this man is defeating Happy regularly. So he knows. Also defeated X-Lord, he knows. Just couldn't defeat a level seven pit lord, but that's fair. I mean, the Pit Lord isn't fair. Losing against the Pit Lord is, like, it, it's okay.
We get a Dreadlord once again. Happy is switching things up. No more blind Lich place. I declared Lich Fast Expansion dead. And Happy shows common sense and is listening to the Prophet. And probably common sense, his own knowledge, own game sense. Dreadlord instant expansion. This has to be Hawks. I mean, he's called Hawk. Why the hell wouldn't he go for Hawks? It's in the name. Town is under siege. <laughs> no, nie wieder grün, of course not. Two base, two is man. Undead, human, two base, two base. At the moment, I guess by far the best matchup in the game. Look at this! The Dreadlord got his whole skill arsenal with the Vambora. Nobody's really touching the other second base. Oh, this could be good. This could be real good. Archmage also tanky. Little bit of mana, which is really good for water elementals. Little bit of HP, which is really good against undead and their spells. Can't be caught here though. Can you set a trap? Is Happy not scouting perfectly for once? It's nighttime. Ah, uh, this might be too early. Yep, Happy is just guarding this. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, not easy. Not easy to approach this for Hawk. He got a telly step once again. We saw how quickly that can backfire. But distracting here only for a footman while the water elemental is making his way a little late, of course. But at least it keeps Happy back. Forces some reduced mining time. Whee, that's a now lot of ghouls. Seen. If that's not a sign for some kind of area of effect, I don't know what is. Hawks tech at 552. That's really fast. Always rule of thumb. Oh, Archmage is around it. That's not great. Rule of thumb, six minute tech. Okay. Everything below. Great. And the further you move away from the six-minute mark, the worse it gets. Ooh, happy cannibalize. Look how fast this cannibalize update is. It's so fast. Boom, 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 done. You barely see it. I keep on telling you guys, cannibalize underrated. Happy knows it, I know it, Lucifer knows it. How much time you save? 
You don't have to send them back to the base. You don't have to wait for blight region. A player's forces are under attack. It's even cheaper. It's cheaper than one ritual dagger. Ooh, happy getting mercs. Happy getting mercs. Against what elementals, not too bad. Hawk also doesn't have defend. I'm intrigued. Archmage, more damage, kind of fine, but no TP and he's being pushed. Oh, Happy's finding a good timing, I guess. With the Bursey against the towers. Oh, that's so good. Oh no, a little longer and this would have all been protected. Hawk is still getting a lot of ghouls here. But Happy is spending all his mana. Oh, of course. He's getting a lot of stuff done. How much can Hawk save is the question. There's no mana potion here, so don't have to be afraid of Hadouken. If he saves all this... It's not too bad, is it? No, he got enough lumber. Yes! Here we go! Now we're talking! Happy lost the mercs. Happy lost a lot of ghouls. Also a lot of HP. It's only double crypto? Forces are under attack. This might also be knights. Ah, knights, fiends. Oh, it is triple. It is triple. I take everything back. It's not, it's not, it's not fiends. Yo, Hawk in a good spot. Not gr oh, double rope. Oi, oi, oi. Heavy hitting Archmage. Happy with another relentless push, but you know what? The Zeppelin is already in position. Doesn't help against the towers. Ooh, still building guard towers as well. <laughs> Happy is just waiting. Okay, drop him. Drop him. Drop him. I don't care. There's no tier 2 units yet. repair but the dreadlord is waiting for exactly that purpose ha ah. there was barely any damage though repair hawk repair now they sleep there's another carrion he breaks it isn't he he breaks it oh snap quite a slow execution i gotta say we got clap we got bold okay Okay, Happy is losing a lot, but it was only level one. It's only a couple of ghouls. Expo is down. Expo is down. Oh, it's hard call actually. Hard call. Archmage close to five. And the Hawks all survived. Players forces are under attack. That's a lot of gold. It will pay off. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, like the arcane towers are gone. He can do this over and over and over again. What happened to Hasu Ops? Um played StarCraft and uh it's still playing Heroes of the Storm for Team Liquid. 
Hawk not getting distracted here. Closer to level 3. Katka's Jam always very good on an Archmage. Oh, level 5 though. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> it's so crazy that Happy sees this opportunity that he can do this much with only a grip at Dreadlord. <laughs> Nuts. And Hawk is only at 41. Like, you're relying on mass production. I don't rule out Hawk yet. But it's not easy. Oh, silence, no shackle, no TP. You need the numbers, my friend. You need the numbers. Oh, dodges the carrion swarm. Archmage has no slot, has no staff. Oh no. Item on the ground, did Happy pick it up? I don't know what it was. It's not, not a staff, that would have been funny. That was wonky. A player's forces are under attack. These, this number of Gargs, man, it's tricky. This is a critical mass. That's what happens when you don't follow Leon's advice and get him early. This is crazy hard now. Only on one base. On triple production buildings. That's so rough. And no way to force heavy back. A player's forces are under attack. Whee, that's one for free. But there's zero chance on an expansion ever again. A for effort! I feel like some timings were missed and Happy just... With the Dark Ranger now for silence, continues the slaughter. Yeah, shackles, shackles don't mean anything here in this situation. Two base, one base. Who would have thought that we arrive in the stage of the game where the undead solution to human is gargoyles? To Orc, it's Gargoyles. And to Night Elf, it's Gargoyles. Or at least, can be. At least Hawk on this map is holding out longer than Sheik was... ...twice? <laughs> the entire semi-final. Will we get a second Inferno? <laughs> oh, the <fumble. laughs> Oh man, he's trying to shackle, he's trying to bait a little bit. Ah, uh -uh. 
Not with this number of gargs. You cannot allow this number of gargs. Turns out losing the expo had a crazy ripple effect. And this is over. Happy 2 0 on the way to win the third monthly in a row. Three match points now. This fell a bit apart when Happy set up the defense with the ghouls on the right hand side. And Hawk couldn't go through, like couldn't pass. So the Archmage had to go all the way around. Lost a lot of time. Footies weren't in with for, to support. Uh, and Expo was up, Tower was up. And um, two base, two base doesn't really work, especially if the undead starts to harass you. Then the Gark numbers at some point get too crazy. Gotta hit early, but Happy never gave him the time. And then all of a sudden it's level 5 Dreadlord and what do you do? What on earth can help Hawk win it? I gave the humans so many buffs already, what more can I do? Oh, Ladies, gentlemen, everybody in between, outside, anywhere, we have a little bit of a debut in the Back to Warcraft monthly finals, cuz the map that we're playing now has never been seen before in a monthly final. The map we're playing now is the latest addition to the War 3 Champions map pool. It is done by one of the finest map makers on the planet, and this map is Gloomstalk. It's a beautiful map. It's a different map. In case you haven't seen this map before, welcome. There's a lot going on. Uh, quite a few spots. It is the shortest rush distance in all of Warcraft 3 from base to base. It has an unoccupied gold mine in the middle. No camps here. These camps, this one and this one, they look like there's no creep spot here, but there is, just a little bit further. And so if you try to expand here, these creeps wake up and get aggroed. There's a lab, or two. I was on a Hawk stream in December or January. He told that human is the weakest at the current patch Kappa Kappa. Yeah, he also said that Ring of, uh, that Ring of Regeneration is at best a C tier item. That tells you everything you need to know. There is mercenary camps on the left hand side and on the right hand side, which is quite far away from the main. The natural expansion can be found here, left and right to the main. This looks very far away, but it's actually the same distance as Concealed Hill. Lots to do on this map. Shops in the middle can be contested. Tavern here and here. So, very, 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 very curious. What we are doing. Happy is switching to DK, actually. And is moving to an orange spot right away with the double slow. Okay. That should give Hawk quite some time. This camp has Bloodlust, double redo. But, looks good so far for Hawk. Happy is certainly taking some time with the Furberg here. Has good scouting though. So that's a Merc camp open. I wonder if Hawk anticipated another Dreadlord. And that's the reason for the Shadow Priest, because he can dispel sleep. Or if it's just a genuine good item. Wow, good unit. Happy with the tech, no expansion. The camps are quite hard. Ooh, that's the natural expansion creep. Level... This is a big Furberg. 
Happy finds him. Oh my god. Pump fake. DK's here. Oh, that's not good. Okay. That was the debut of Gloomstalker in the Back to Warcraft monthly weeklies. And we have another winner. March goes to Happy as well. Total disaster. This camp is quite hard. And Hawk probably never played this map before.